starting from little bit of my introduction. I have seven plus years of experience in Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Power Platform. I'm working in a different roles with different organizations, and I'm actively participating in different Microsoft communities. For any queries, uh, you can reach out to me through this email address. So this is my topic, how to automate the process of converting the rows of Excel sheets into the rows of Dataverse using Power Platform. So uh, these are the prerequisites which we write uh, for in this automation. So Excel sheet OneDrive. So these both components uh, we have uh, through this personal account. And and then uh, the fourth one is the Power Apps. And we have this uh, through the account provided by our IT department. So let's uh, jump to the demo. So this is my Excel sheet. And I'm going to upload this to this uh, OneDrive in this uh, document folder. And uh, it will convert to these rows of this import records table. So let's import. Uh, let's upload this one. So here we go. Here it is uploaded. So this let me try to open that one uh, quickly. I have made all the bookmarks. OK, so it is going to load. So, okay. So here is my solution and here is the flow. OK, uh, this flow uh, will require two to three minutes to run. In the meanwhile, uh, we can see the technical steps. So uh, let me quickly share my slides. OK, so uh, these components are used to build this automation solution, table, power automate, model, and app, and connection reference. And then uh, I'm going to share the technical details from my environment. And OK, this is my account uh, created by my IT department. And this is my solution. Let me, OK, this is my solution. And all these require, all these components uh, make this automation. So let's see. Uh, them one by one. So first of all, I created this table, uh, which is responsible uh, for saving these all Excel records. So here, here is the choice column, and here is the date time column, and here is the name column, and here is the whole number column. So I have these four columns in Excel sheet, and I have these four columns in my table. So for the visual visualization, I created one model driven app. Here is this application here is a model application, and here I just add it to the navigation so that uh, we can see the records uh, in the more user friendly environment. So this is my application, and and after that I created these three power automate. So let's uh, see one by one. So here is my first automate, which is uh, responsible to convert uh, the Excel sheet rows into the Dataverse rows. So I'm going to share what is done in this Power Automate. I use this trigger, and here, as you can see here, uh, this is my document folder. So I need to oh, I need to log in uh, to my personal account. Here, this is my uh, IT department account. Uh, uh, I use uh, Power Apps. Power, in other words, you can say I use Power Apps from my IT department account, and we do not. I do not have OneDrive on in this account, so I need a uh, personal account for that purpose. So that I, I created personal account for that purpose, and then I use this connection reference, and this this is connecting to my personal account. And this is yeah, yeah, here you can see I am I'm, refer I'm referencing documents folder. So whenever a file uploaded to the documents folder. So this this Power Automate is responsible to trigger. And then after that, I need this file identifier in uh, in the blue processes. So I save it to the uh, variable. And then I need this uh, file path as after uh, when uh, this file is successfully uh, parsed, then I need to move this file to this purchase folder. So for that for that purpose. I need this uh, folder path. Okay, so this is the folder path. Okay, and this is the fold folder source folder path. And uh, you can see this is this is the path of this documents folder. Okay, so here. Okay, here my screen. So through this power automate component, I can parse my 
all records. So as you can see here, I need to identify the table. So in, in my Excel, there's, there is a table. You can see here, there's a table one. So every time I, I want to parse my Excel rows, so I need to define one table here. So here I'm using table one, okay? So I'm table, uh, using table one. So one thing here interesting is, if you need to parse dead time uh, column, you need to pass uh, you, you, if, if you uh, didn't select this one, so it, it, it will going to uh, share some numbers. So I think I, I recommended it. You use this format, date time format. So you do not worry about the conversion of this date time column. Okay. So now then the next thing is you can apply to each component. Here I created one more power automate. So uh, I think as a professional developer, once you need something, um, you think you need one something common. So you need a function. Here my this power automate is working as a function. So let me try to show the details of this power automate. Okay. So it's a power automate. So the thing is in my table has this choice column. And we do not need this label in Power Automate. In Excel sheet, we have these labels. But to set the value of this option set, we need its uh, value. So I need, uh, I, I write this uh, Power Automate to perform this action. As you can see here, I'm, I'm passing uh, this label to this Power Automate. Here you can see. So it received the type uh, label here in the, in the, in the string format. And then I use this value to return uh, to the parent power automate. So this value is uh, right now, this is integer. Right now, this is a zero here. So I use this uh, switch statement. So when uh, this power automate receive business from the parent power automate, then it will going to return value one. Uh, similarly for family, similarly for social. So let me try to share the details of this choice column. Um, Solutions, import records. It is loading. Okay, and this is my table. These are columns, and this is the choice. So as you can see here, so business uh, label returns one value. So all of the uh, all of these I configured uh, in this my power in this power automate. Okay, so once it parse the value, and then uh, after that it is going to return the response in this uh, value variable, uh, as you can see here. And I, I have this uh, response in my parent power automate. Okay, so here uh, I'm using this component at a new row. Through uh, here you can see, I can give the import records name here and uh, I give the uh, table name. So the, the interesting thing is, let me try to show you from, so when you are configuring this power automate, you do not have this column here. So let me try to show you. So you do not have anything name here. So what you need, you need to write something also add these details uh, to my in my slide. So you need to use expression. So you need to write this expression items and then apply to each and then the, uh, the name of the column. So here I wrote all these formulas here. So when you first run, when you first after your first run, here it is. After your first run, uh, this will move in this format. So in the same manner, I use the same uh, expression for the date time format. I use the same expression for the whole number column. But here you can see the choice column will be filled uh, using this uh, with the response of this column. So as you can see here, let me try to show you from here. Okay, I think uh, I need to uh, do it more maximize so that all people can see clearly. Okay, 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 okay. When my power automate receives zero, it means the value, the label, it is going to pass. It is not there in my option set column. So I, I'm going to save this value as the null. And, after, and this, if, if this is not the case, then I'm going to save the value returned by the power automate. So here it is. So this is how I'm creating records. Okay. So the third, the last step is I move this file from this document folder to picture document. Once all the records uh, has been passed, then the next thing is I need to move this document from this folder to the pictures folder. Okay, for that purpose, I, I'm also using the professional developer mindset I, and I use this Power Automate as a function and I'm going to share what the steps my this Power Automate is doing. So, okay, okay. Here I'm going to open my new solution screen. 
is my code report scheme and this is my cloud flow um, this is the flow is responsible to move files so there's something uh, there's one thing is interesting so as you can see i'm i'm uh, sending the file and identifier of the source file and the destination folder path to this my power automate in here you can see here uh, it is it, it is taking some time okay so here you can see here uh, with the uh, with the help of this body just on schema i'm receiving uh, this from the power automate and i use this variable to uh, basically when we are, we are working with uh, the excel sheets so, so sometimes it is logged so, uh, so, so when we are trying to move uh, this from uh, the source for path to the destination path then uh, sometimes we need the locking mechanism here so uh, whenever we need an error here so i set that delay function here uh, with that with this function uh, it, it is wait uh, for the one minute and then it is try again to move this folder until and unless it not move the folder then it is uh, it is in the this do while loop and once it is finished it successfully finished its, its job then i make this to false and then my this uh, power order successfully finished so let me try to show you the records converted okay the file we uploaded so as you can see here uh, we all of these records are converted now and we have, we can see here so here i can show you one record okay so here you can see the name column is uh, set to the name column and the choice column is set to the choice column so all all are set very well uh, here you can see so the last thing is what we have done with this uh, movement so let me try to show you and this file is still uh, not moved so let's see so here you can see it is still running uh, it sometimes takes 12 minutes sometimes takes 22 minutes so after some time it will move file from this uh, folder to destination folder so let's jump to the some some errors uh, which i faced during this development so if uh, i root apply to each instead of instead of apply to it so I, I receive this error so you may face when we are developing when you are configuring this power automate so you may face this error so the resolution is you need to check the component of the apply to each what the name you are you are using with, with this component and i face this error when i am passing null to my automate which is responsible to take uh, the label of the option set and return the value and uh, and then the next thing is i face this error when i give uh, a value to the to, to my integer column and then i face this error when i setting the string instead of date time so i i root all these errors which i face during my development so i think that that's all from my side Abdul, awesome. This is really, really great stuff for, for those that are looking to, yeah, the, woo, <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much for sharing. There's a lot to pack into this. You did a really fine job. Really, really appreciate it. So thank you.